undeserving, useless, and freeloading. According to the government-funded Scottish, Scottish Center for Regeneration, that is how the average person describes somebody who's living in poverty. When one person ruins how the group as a whole is viewed, that's how stereotypes are started. Thus, tainting the water for those who are desperately trying to claw their way out and get away from those stereotypes so they can make a name for themselves. I have done my research so that I can provide you with the knowledge that you need so that you can walk away from this and have a new understanding of those who are living in poverty. I want you to be informed about the stereotypes of those who are living in poverty, as well as understand their motivations and their willingness to contribute to society in any way that they can. Poverty is not good for either side of the situation, and people are jumping to conclusions about those who are living in poverty, thus creating a tent of false stereotypes that we all can live under. According to the Scottish Center of Regeneration and the author of it, Derek McKay, there are three, well, a big three, if you will, uh, stereotypes that most people would associate with those who are living in poverty. Number one is that all people living in poverty are homeless. McKay goes on to say that this is false because there are many people who are living in poverty, yet they have a home to live under. Poverty does not equal homelessness. Poverty is simply a word that we use to describe those who are living with less than what society grants as what is needed to survive. And I think that's something to be commendable for because that's not what we view as what we would need to survive, yet they're doing it and providing for a family as well as themselves. Number two, says that people living in poverty are uneducated, when in fact there are many people who are living in poverty who have gone to school, graduated, had a successful job, and because of one small financial mistake are now living in poverty, trying to claw their way back out and not being able to use the education that they work so hard to achieve. Number three is probably the most common that I've heard and the one that I disagree with the most, but I'm not the credible source, so I'll leave it to Mr. McKay. He says that, that is not true that uh, that's not true, that people living in poverty are all benefit cheats. Because this suggests that people living in poverty have a lack of motivation and are unwilling to contribute to society. McKay also says that these stereotypes can be traced back to those who are living with wealth and be more relatable to those people. Because we tend to skip over the ones who are living in wealth, who are benefit cheats, because they contribute to society with their money instead of what they work with. actor uh, the actor Woody Allen once said that poverty is better than, that money is better than poverty but only for financial reasons and I think it rings true when you think about the people who are living with wealth who aren't contributing to society because they feel like they can just use their money and it goes back to the people who are living in poverty who are trying their best to claw their way out and provide for society the best that they can. As you now know, stereotypes for those who are living in poverty do not have a positive connotation, even though for the most part, in fact, it's more of like a 70-30 split, are trying their hardest to get their way out of it, and it just goes back to a small group of people who are ruining it for everybody else. When you take a step back and look at the surface, and look past the surface of the impoverished world, you're able to look past those who are the freeloaders cheats of the world and you're able to focus in on those who are fighting their best and making a way for themselves on their own.